from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. The Cards offense set to go to work, 2-0 on the young season. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. You can script and diagram plays all you want, but no one really envisions something like that happening this early in the game. How about that run to get things started? Didn't he win NFC Player of the Week last week? Yeah, he was on fire a week ago, and what a start to this one. Yeah, no sign of him cooling down at all. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Finding Ertz again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The Cardinals at 2-0 here to begin the season, and they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience all on display in that victory. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Here's Murray. That pass complete to Moore. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Murray now. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Throwing now is Murray. That is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great effort there with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Cardinals get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Well, just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pickup, first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. You look at this Cowboy defense. Now, they've been a very good unit against the pass, defending at fifth best in the league. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL, but it shouldn't be hard. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great play there. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cardinals have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Boy, 
right, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring, and another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, So here are the Cardinals to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. So here's a first and 10 at the 38, as they've got it as we resume action. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 137 yards rushing for him, as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great effort there his way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Cardinals go up by two touchdowns you get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass let's bring some pressure so this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground and he'll take it all the way into the end zone field as he gears up to go again. Might he be on his way to a record-setting performance here, Charles? Second quarter and the yardage number already ridiculous. After the turnover, here's Murray. He finds his man complete. That's Brock. Touchdown, Cardinals! A great play there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Cardinals are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That there again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And some room to work. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. A huge play there for Arizona. 44 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Running the sweep, Hilton with it. And room there to work it inside the 25. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now a give right side. It's Brock, gets around him. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. 
taking it in from 24 yards out. And the Cardinals take a three touchdown lead. How about the game that he has compiled here? So he has the two receiving touchdowns, and now that is his third rushing touchdown. Three plus two. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Now he's into the clear again. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A big play there. 54 yards. And the Cards are able to add on to their first half lead. Now you talk about the dominating rushing. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, he's broken off some big time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it, when you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now Murray. He finds his man complete. That's Brock. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown, Cardinals! Great effort there, 46 yards. And the Cardinals have taken a five touchdown lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. To throw is Murray. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rally. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup.
The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, it used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this curve. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Shifts by him. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15 and uh, spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Brock, and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have taken a six. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. Start this drive out on the ground. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a fake on the jet sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Oh, he shifts past him. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down now. It's Brock, and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. Second down, here's Murray. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. Give him 18 on the play. Hey. 
Throwing on first down is Murray. And his throw is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Murray again, second and 10. Got his man, it's Dorch. And he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Going to try to throw on third down. Ah, oh, he had him. In. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On second down, it's Brock. Seven yards there and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Murray now to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Brock. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Here's Murray. He finds his man complete. It's Brock. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And that is incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. The football going back over to Arizona now. First and 10, here's Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brock. There he goes again. Touchdown! A great play there. 75 yards. And the Cardinals are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Back 
to throw it. Murray. He finds his man. Complete. It's Brock. And this one will be taken up. They'll spot it right at the seven. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up second down. To throw, it's Murray. Got a man. It's Brown. He's got space past the 25. And he'll take this all the way up to the 38-yard line. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. Murray going to throw. Fighting through pressure. Fights through and now a crease. Oh, fancy running by Murray. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Here's Murray from midfield. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Well, at this juncture, CD, you normally see teams pack in the passing game. They've got the huge lead. Not them, though. They're still taking their shots. I remember reading in past history, there was a college football coach in the Hall of Fame whose nickname was Close the Gates of Mercy. But he wasn't really big on that. He was big on go ahead and scoring. He's kind of reincarnated right here. We're watching it in front of us. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film set. 3-0 now on the young season. 